Hey, what's up everybody? Drama here with another review. Uh, this one is for Element Space. Again, it's actually been out for a while on Steam and PC, it looks like. But just recently was released on Switch, PS4, and Xbox. Uh, so the game is developed by Sixth Vowel and published by Blowfish Studios, who kindly provided the review code. What you're looking at here is some early gameplay, and you'll notice that there's a little bit of a tutorial going on, which I, I think was implemented pretty pretty doggone well. You know, t tutor you while you play the game instead of just letting you take a training mission or something. Uh, so I, I thought that was implemented well. What the game is, is it's a strategic RPG. Uh, very similar, I think, uh, in theory at least, to the XCOM series just as a more recent style of game in this fashion. Uh, they're not the same by any stretch, but you know, same same genre, same idea. Uh, what we're looking at here is some of the skills that you can get, and, and I don't know how I feel about the skills. The system is pretty cool. You know, you get a few points for every mission you finish, and then you can put them into any skill that you want, as long as that tier's open and the skill before it has been unlocked. So for example, tank tier one, unlock it now. Once tier two is available, you can get tank tier two. But if I don't get grenade tier one, I can't get grenade tier two, even though the tier may be available. Makes sense. You know, you gotta go sequential. So that's fine, whatever. I think it's implemented well. However, I've, done it, I've noticed some issues where the skills don't seem to do anything, which is really annoying. There's a, a hacker skill, for example, where you're supposed to be able to hack enemy turrets, and none of the turrets I've used it on have been vulnerable to hacking. The last door the and, and so far, like I'm not Captain, it's a saying I, I've seen every Stop turret right in the here. game by any stretch, Identify but I've seen yourself. quite a few, and I've tried it. And the turrets always seem to be Talk invulnerable to the hacking, which is just it's ridiculous. As far as story goes, I mean, there's story here. They, they took time to write something. They put some real effort in there. Honestly, I kind of get lost in the voice acting. I think it'd be better off if they hadn't added voice actors. Uh, apparently, they added voice actors after the initial Steam release. And you can kind of tell. For example, we'll see later on in the review, but during the major cutscenes, the character's lips don't move. Well, that's really annoying to me. And then, you may not notice it in these clips, but the voice acting is kind of all over the place. Some of the actors are really, really pretty good. You know, I props to them. Good job. Some of them less so. <laughs> Which, I'm not saying it's an easy job, don't get me wrong. Uh, you know, listen to me and I'm sure you're like, half of you think I suck. Uh, which is cool. Um, it's just, you can tell that the quality isn't probably where it was desired to be. And that happens, I, I guess. So it is what it is. All that said, where you're going to be spending most of your time is in combat. And, and here you can kind of get an idea of, of what it looks like. I have found that there are issues even in the combat. Sometimes there's a stutter, sometimes the enemies make a move and then they don't actually do anything. Um, you know, it's not perfect by any stretch, but it is fun and it does allow for a lot of options. You can use your skills, you can use melee or ranged combat. I find melee to be my preference where possible because sometimes you can get what's going to happen here to happen. It looks pretty cool. Um, even though you notice, see that stutter there, it's not a technically wonderful game. <laughs> there's just, there's technical issues. Even if you take out any crashes, which I have still had happen, even after all the patching, it is what it is, I guess. Um, really cool though, you get graded after each battle, and there are trophies tied to those, so if you get a perfect grade for each battle in a mission, you get a trophy. Some missions have a lot of battles. Some missions might only have one battle. Uh, you'll notice here 
is what I was talking about earlier, where the lips aren't moving. I'm talking, lips aren't moving, what? And then at the end of each, each mission, you are also shown, hey, this is what happened. You can raise your standing with factions and with your other characters, and that just adds something to the story. It gives you new unlocks, and there's some trophies tied to it. It's cool stuff. All in all, if you can get past the technical warts in the game, the frame rate stutters, the random enemies not doing anything on a turn, and the occasional crash, I think Element Space is a game worth giving a shot. Uh, if you think those things are something you just can't deal with, I'd hold off. The devs have patched the game three times, I think, already since release, and it released last week. So they're certainly working to fix those things, but... You know, just because they're working to fix it doesn't mean they'll they'll all get fixed. There's still what I consider major camera issues, for example. Um, but it's a fun game. I'm enjoying my time with it, and I think it's worth a look if you're into the genre, just for the new things it does. Please stay 